Boys. Boys, 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 boys. Boys, it's time. It's time. This is not a false alarm. This is not a false alarm. We have a new AK-12. We have a new AK-12. This looks freaking incredible. Oh my God. The day I have long awaited for, we have finally gotten a new AK-12 model, which it honestly couldn't be better timing. I just said in a video the other day, but what we should have in this game, and at some point I would love to see, would be a remake of the AK-12 to be more like the actual AK-12. And it happened, it like genuinely happened. It's not, be I'm sure it's not because of me. I'm sure this was already in the making because this would have been way too much to do in such a short amount of time, but it's, I'm so happy. Oh, those iron sights, bro. No, no, this is incredible. This is incredible. This is my new favorite model in the game. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me take a step back here. Let me, let's figure out exactly what happened here. So essentially we didn't quite get a new AK-12, right? The, the default normal AK-12 that's in the game is still in the test place, but we got a new thing called the AK-12 test. It's a level zero that anybody can use right now. However, we still can stare in awe. Unfortunately, it is a nighttime map right now in the test place that I can't really do all too much about, but we can stare in awe at just how freaking beautiful this weapon and its iron sights are. Now, not only have we gotten a new weapon, I assume we got, yeah, we got the new layered recoil system as well. And it, oh dude, that recoil looks so nice. Oh, I can't believe we actually got this. One of my first things that I'm curious about is how do attachments look on this? Because if it is just a test, oh, dude, I just, this model is so beautiful. The way that the iron sights freaking look. We got big letters right here. This one says PR, which I assume is something that it was safe. An AV, I assume, is Avtomat. Yeah, you have to Avtomat. I don't know, I don't speak Russian. We got one single shot. We got three, which I assume is for that three on burst. I mean, it, it's interesting. It's definitely a, a thing. Anyway, though, attachments, attachments, attachments. I'm very, very interested to see what attachments look like on this. I don't quite know what I was expecting, but um, yeah, that looks nice. Very nice. Scopes and stuff, obvious. Oh, that actually looks so freaking sick, dude. Okay. Okay. That's kind of cool. Grips and stuff are all normal. Go on the rail. Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Lasers do the same. I mean, overall, this looks freaking amazing. Um, I don't really know what attachments to put on this. I'm just going to do the classic double yellow laser combo here. And we'll just throw on a, uh, well, actually, we'll leave a default. These iron sights look incredible. That looks so nice, bro. Bro, this is actually absolutely going to make me use the AK-12. Absolutely, freaking lutely The stats on the AK-12 are fine for like a default weapon, right? But this model alone, bro... I am curious about one thing. I doubt that we'll actually actually have it yet in game, but there are other AK-12. Yeah, there's other like AK-12 type models like the AKU-12, obviously like the RPK-12, wherever that is, there it is. And I'd like for these to get a revamp too, since they're all basically based off of this weapon right here, which I assume in time we will. God, I wish this map wasn't so dark, dude. I want to be able to see this freaking weapon. The best that we could really do is just kind of come to this hallway and just kind of like maybe brighten up the video a little bit. Maybe, maybe that helps. One thing that is on it that I've not really been able to get all too much use of with, which I do want to kind of practice with that I'm kind of using now and it's okay, is going to be the thousand fire rate burst mode thing. So essentially there's like a burst mode for it that's three on burst that makes it fire at a thousand RPM. And if you like sync up your shooting just right, it makes it fire at a thousand RPM like continuously. And it actually looks like it's pretty solid on this. Now, of course, this is also going to be solid on the currently in-game AK-12 as well, because that does exist on this. But I feel like this gives me more incentive to really use that weapon, or this weapon, I guess. This is so, this is so freaking cool, dude. Overall, I mean, this is just an absolutely incredible freaking model. There's not all too much more about it that I could say, because we haven't gotten any, like, new attachments or anything like that just yet. It is still just being tested. But, dude, this is so freaking cool, dude. I, I, I just, those iron sights, I would, oh, okay. Just walk right into my sights. I guess that works. These iron sights are like the best iron sights in the entire game. This is, this is going to be the way that I use this weapon whenever it inevitably gets added. But overall though, I'm extremely excited. I'm excited to see whenever they add this to the other AK-12 type weapons. I'm excited for like just this weapon overall now. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see more models get revamps. I can't wait to see more weapons get like stat changes. Just because I'm curious though, I do want to throw, I guess we'll do like a coyote sight on this. I'm going to start, I'm actually going to start using this in the main game just so I can kind of prepare and get used to this weapon, dude. I know that the recoil on this model is different than it is in the main game, but like, oh my God. Either way, there's only so many times I can say this is awesome and this is crazy before I get way too repetitive and I'm just extremely, extremely hyped for this. <laughs> 25 and 27. Who let me be at the top of the scoreboard on my team, bro? Who, who let me do that? Please be daytime. Please be daytime. Please be daytime. 
No! Oh, well, you guys get the idea. New AK-12 model. It looks absolutely incredible. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. I'm just too cool, bro. I'm just too cool, man. There's actually one more thing that I'm curious about, and it's going to be the skins on this weapon because we can actually get things for the AK-12 test. What, why is it giving me for the H-bar? It's supposed to be for the AK-12 test. There we go. That was weird. And it was actually a red too. That's really surprising. Either way, can you not? Oh, they don't work just yet. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. Well, um, that's very unfortunate. But yes, obviously, new model looks absolutely in freaking credible. Happy days, boys. Happy days. Well, anyways, that is pretty much going to be it for today's video. If you guys are hyped about this AK-12, definitely let me know in the comment section below. What other weapons do you want to see remodels for? I think maybe next on my list would be like either the FAMAS or maybe the MK-11. As much as I have nostalgia for this old model, I think it's I think it's time. <laughs> But overall, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm extremely excited about this, and I hope you are too. If you guys want to see more videos like this, you can do so with the Phantom Forces playlist up on screen right now. Big shout out to all the channel members up on screen. You guys are absolutely incredible. And with that said, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it, dudes. Love you. Peace.